Welcome back students. This is your channel God. In this video, I am going to let you know the very important and one short questions for the course Cloud Computing for R18 under JN2H. It is a common subject for computer science engineer as well as information technology. A student taking this course, the cloud computing should have a basic minimum knowledge and a prerequisite knowledge on the courses such as computer networks, operating systems and distributed systems, dear students. It's all about tool and theory structure as well as it is all about the theory. You are supposed to work out each and every parameter which is I am going to take into consideration part A as well as part B together and I am going to give you a few important highlighted tips and the important gunshot questions in between do not skip this video and if you haven't subscribed to my channel please do subscribe as well as share this content with your friends characteristics of grid computing as well as optical computing is said to be one of the top most question in form of part a as well as part b cloud computing define the term and the advantages and disadvantages is said to be one of the gunshot question this time in the question paper which may be to ADS students quantum versus network computing and the applications of high performance and high throughout systems is also said to be one of the top most question in this time question paper dear students if you're working out these points you could able to work out even 1a also dear students let's look into 3a as well as 3b it's all about bio computing versus mobile computing distributed versus parallel computing so like this you are going to get the differences in different types of computings you are supposed to make a tabular column and you need to work out in order to get a good mark if you haven't gone through the how to score a good marks in a theory paper a video is being posted in this channel please go through it and watch i have let you know the all the forms of questions how you are supposed to write if it is a theory paper where is computing paradigms is said to be is also said to be one of the gunshot question discuss computer clusters for the scalable par uh, parallel computing is also said to be a b question these are the questions which i am going to cover from the unit one let's look into the unit two it's all about 4a as well as 4b and 3 and 4 question i mean the short question c and d principles of co cloud computing need of cc motivation and define from this part you'll be getting two three combination question dear students do not skip any part of the question which i'm going to highlight here as you are going to score 15 marks from this unit drawbacks of cc paradigm and the deployment models of any four and the characteristics and legal issues of cc is also said to be a topmost question which is of 4a 4b do not expect 4a 4b from this this may be a combination of even this side which i am going to let you know in form of 5a 5b five essential characteristics of cc and is com cloud computing a platform dependent is said to be a 2 mark or 3 mark or a 5 mark question elaborate the software as a service related to cloud computing is also said to be a gunshot question various major challenges faced by cc this is said to be 5a 5b as well as cd question in the question paper dear students let's look into the unit 3 unit 3 question is 6a b here managing the cloud cloud infrastructure is said to be a topmost question and the approaches of the cloud migration migration is also said to be a topmost question a role of service oriented architecture in cloud computing and network connectivity in cloud computing and the role of it is said to be a 6a and 6b question dear students and the short questions related to migrating now migrating application to cloud its phases is said to be also one of the top most question define infrastructure as a service as per the nsit is maybe a three or two mark question and anatomy of the cloud is also said to be a two or three mark question how to attain qs by managing by managing cloud is also said to be a 7a as well as 7b question from this part which is have taken from the unit 3 now the unit 4 is very short and whereas it is too lengthy it is all related to only these three three parameters that may be asked from any part iss pes pass and sas their differences and the characteristics of all these three and suitability of these three and the providers also dear students is said to be a topmost question summary of sas providers and the platform as a service is said to be a three mark or two mark question and the various service provider and used by iss sas pass with an example and the pros and cons of all these above and the cloud service models with the diagram is said to be 
be one of the top most question service as a software i mean software as a service defined may be a two mark three mark question dear students without skipping anything you are supposed to work out if you are taking into consideration unit four i mean the question number is gate a i b as well as 9a and 9b you are supposed to concentrate each and every parameter related to all these three concepts failing which you cannot get 15 marks and the unit 5 is too lengthy in its structure i have taken many questions here it's because that it is a b combination as well as short questions google's cloud storage and the cloud print is said to be a two mark question describe amazon e c2 and nak platform sap virtualization service and the provider and sap lab is said to be a topmost question cloud service provided by windows azure and summary on various cloud service offered by salesforce salesforce is said to be a uh, a 9 i mean 10 a and 10 b question from this google app engine amazon web service q is said to be a three mark two mark question and sap hna cloud platform may be also three mark two mark question dear student as this course fifth unit is too lengthy in structure it is all about application oriented you can write in your own language i mean in general terms also do not write in paragraph write in point wise using numbering or certain symbols to score a good mark basic modules of emc's captiva cloud toolkit is said to be a three mark question emc i mean you're supposed to define all these terms like rack space vmware and short notes features of amazon simple queue service is also said to be 11 a question in the question paper architecture of ibm smart cloud with a neat diagram is also said to be a very very important question microsoft assessment and planning toolkit and the cloud model ibm smart cloud and the service cloud dear students i request all of you to work out this part you are going to get 15 out of 15 marks in form of short as well as long question from the unit 2 as sorry unit 5 as unit 4 you are supposed to work out each and every parameter here and the unit 2 and the unit 3 are too small in its structure you can prepare first unit 2 later unit 3 and the unit 4 you can work out unit 5 at the end it's all because of the application oriented related to cloud computing hope you are liking my videos if you haven't subscribed to my channel please do subscribe we do support with your likes and do support me with subscribing to my channel as well as sharing with this content if you're looking for any other course do not forget to comment hope you are working out all the questions of the previous exams well mannered and you are going to work out even this exam in a proper manner to score good marks good luck and god bless you all thank you